y'all, let me tell y'all the motherfucking story. So I worked a little, work from home from a little, little call center, right? And I ain't even gonna lie, the shit was sweet. Making a, a sweet $20 an hour head. Just got a little raise, was finna start making $22 an hour in April. A little sweet little, you know, cause you sitting at home. Sweet little job. But one thing about it, I don't give a fuck what y'all pay and I don't give a fuck about your job. A bitch ain't finna talk to me in any kind of way. What? Don't care. Don't give a fuck. That's just me. Bitch and white people, they got a real bad habit of when they know that you black or something, they try to talk to you any kind of way or try to talk down on you or talk to you like you dumb and like you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Like, what? no, bitch, you're not finna talk to me like that. If you've ever been in customer service, you already know that black women are in customer service. Not only that, but have you ever had a good experience with a woman specifically a black woman in customer service leave your thoughts in the video and let's get into it stay tuned <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Fuck you and it could be fuck this job. So let me tell y'all a story. So I take a call for a man. I'm working for a prescription drug company. Mind y'all, this one of the motherfuckers, this bitch is using a motherfucking diabetes medication to lose weight. Bitch ain't even got diabetes. So basically, he mad at me because he can't get the Manjaro shit. Now, he on the phone upset, want to do the most. So I'm just like, listen, sir, you know, we don't got it. You can't get it. That's that. Do y'all know this motherfucker going to tell me, oh, nobody over there don't never got no answers for me. Um... This whole conversation was pointless. Yeah, pointless. And I was like, yeah, it really was. He told me something, yeah, pointless like your career. And hung up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, when I tell you no, daddy, <laughs> bring that ass here, boy. Baby, when I tell you I got that bitch number, text him and told that bitch no, bitch. What's pointless is my career is on stuck like your motherfucking weight that you can't lose. That's why you mad you can't get this fucking medicine. Y'all, then that bitch called back in the job and got me fired. See, I just wanna make one thing very, 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 very clear. Customer service is a majority a woman's job. Now, I'm not saying women can only do customer service, Statistical data backs this up, stating that customer service is a female-driven field. When you call Amazon, when you call Verizon, when you call T-Mobile, when you call Capital One, when you call all of these businesses, who do you expect to hear on the phone? Who do you expect to see? woman when you go into a business when you go to reception when you go to the hospital when you go to the er when you go to a school who do you expect to see a woman and women are primarily in these fields because they are considered a nurturer they are considered a woman who is a nurturer who can reassure you, who can give you a pat on the back, give you something to ease your mind with. But when we look at the common roles of these women, we can see how, if you really think about it, 69.5% customer service representatives are women. Let that sink in. 69.5% of customer service representatives are women. Now, you and I both know there is one group of women that predominantly is in customer service and predominantly complains about customer service. 
You already know what we're going to say. Let's keep it a bump. It's always black women. If you go to eat, if you go to get a hotel, if you go to the dentist office, to the receptionist. Now, I'm not saying all black women are like this, but the vast majority of black women are exactly like the woman in this video. This is the reason why when you call a customer service job and you hear a black woman's voice on the other end, you immediately sigh and you think, why did I get transferred to this woman? If you think about it like that, you'll realize that it's not anything, but it's something at the same time. When you think about customer service and you realize how modern women run relationships, do you really think that their relationships are going to be any better with you over the phone? They're always texting. They're always on the phone. They're always arguing. They're always getting an attitude. And you didn't even do anything. So if you think the modern woman gets on the phone with you and you want a good experience. That is a part of her job to give you a good experience. But yet far too often, we don't get a good experience. And it's because we get stuck with black women on the other end. Now, again, I'm not talking about all black women, but I'm talking about the modern women that we have in the dating market. Do you really expect the modern woman to get on the phone with you and have a logical and non-combative conversation? No. Nope. Do you really think that they'll have a good conversation with you, but then talk to their boyfriend or their significant other like trash but they'll put on the show for you no nope. this woman was fired from her work from home job because she had to have the last word and that is typical with a lot of modern women they always want to use shame insults guilt and the need to be right well in this case it was the need to be right you always have to have the last word. You always have to have the last thing to say. And then when it backfires and it blows up in your face, you always want to blame the other person. Well, this is the issue. You can only blame the other person so much. You can only blame the job so much. All of these careers that women, especially black women, are predominantly in nursing, registered nurse, nurse's assistant, teacher, guidance counselor, psychologist, therapist. They're all customer service jobs. They're all dealing with the public. So do you really expect a modern woman to deal with the public in a healthy way? No. You can't. You can't expect that. This is why this woman got fired. This is why this woman and all modern women fall into the same trap. It's a vicious cycle. We are living in a time where we have more modern women than we have good women. We have more bad eggs than we have good eggs. And enough is enough. We have to do better. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content and you'll be able to see me in the next video that's coming on your screen right after this. And until the next video, peace.